What is up everybody and welcome back to 23rd Garage. Today we are back on the Rubicon. We actually got this thing ready for the alignment shop. We did a lot of stuff to it today like uh, right here. We drilled the holes in the frame and put the bolts into there. Uh, we've got everything bolted on. We got the brake lines on as you can tell. There's uh, nice braided steel lines. Uh, we actually didn't film a lot of this stuff. There was a lot going on in the shop. We needed to get this stuff done and as you guys know, when we film, we don't get that much stuff done. The first thing we are going to do is go ahead and install our Rough Country flares. Uh, we are going to simply use some of these very nice Allen head bolts. All right, so we got this flare on. It looks really good. So we're going to move on to the other side. So the next thing we are going to do is go ahead and pop on these hood latches. We've got these nice aftermarket steel hood latches. They look pretty cool. So we got the flares on, they look really good. And uh, I'm not going to put the fender liners on just yet because I wanna actually pressure wash all that mud out and I wanna pressure wash the back of them as well. So we'll do that later. But for now, we wanna go ahead and pop this back bumper on. All right, what do we got here, Nate? Let's do a guessing game. What do you think this is? Bolts? No, I think that yeah, it's possible, but I think it's also the handle for the uh, oh, yeah. for the, the spare tire carrier. Yeah, that one ain't that box. Oh yeah, you 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 possibly are correct, Nate. You may you you're smarter than you look, sir. What is this? Oh, this be the D hooks. That's 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 the money right there. 
the D hooks are very important on a Jeep. You know, when you're driving down the road, you see a Prius stuck in the ditch, and you tell them, hey man, I ain't got D hooks, I'm sorry. Man, I put them on wrong, man. Alright, so uh, big bad uh, tire carrier goes on next. Now, where's my knife at, Nate Nate? Right there on the ground, sir. Alright, so the reason why it's very good to, uh, to run a, this type of bumper is because you have really heavy oversized tires. So, you know. Spare tire carrier. Look at this thing. This thing's a beast, man. This thing's a beast. Hot dog, boy. Oh, I did forget one thing. Yeesh. Look at that. Man, this thing was out in Arizona somewhere. Okay, so we need to assemble our carrier barrier. See that nice swap? Ah, there we are. Okay, so this right here is our uh, spare tire carrier lock. It goes right there. And then this, in case you guys didn't know, these are bolts. Are they? Yep. Nope. And then these are our bearings, our carrier bearings. The bearings for the carrier. Okay, so let's see if I can assemble this. I, I already did one of these before, so I kind of sort of know what I'm doing, but then I also really don't know what I'm doing at all. These are spacers for the lock, and then these are our bearings. And uh, the bearings are actually very interesting because they have little needle bearings inside the bearings. But all this has to be assembled in there, I think. I don't even remember actually how all this stuff goes. I'm just going to figure it out as I go along. Because that's what men do. We do not read instructions. If you have to lift something heavy, blow your back out. Be a man. Dang, dude, that's pretty cool. I kid you not though, Nate, the last one that I did on the wheelies, I actually installed it without even looking at the uh, supplied reading materials. But this one I'm not going to do that way simply because I can't. Okay, so this needs to sit on that, right? Probably should have froze it or something. I just walked that joint in there. Let me go get my mallet. Make sure that don't fall. Man, that is so beautiful. It's almost as beautiful as you are, Nate. All right. Now, we're going to simply shove it on like this. my rubber mallet and try to damage it as much as possible. Open it more. Okay. 
All right, first things first, we gotta put this thing on right here because we're gonna have to adjust it. Like, we're gonna have to make sure, you know what I'm saying? That thing looked good. I mean, I think it does. Be a beast with it, Nate. Very nice, sir. Check that out guys, this thing is pretty slick. I really like this uh, beefy tire carrier for that big beefy wheel and tire. Uh, you definitely wanna have a full size spare when you're off-roading and you definitely need a beefy uh, tire carrier because you cannot put one of these uh, on the regular one. You definitely don't want this thing hanging on your tailgate. <laughs> yeah. But it looks very good. Uh, still a couple of things that we are lacking on it, uh, like the front bumper and uh we the need winch, to take it too. yes well we have the winch we just, we are still waiting on the front bumper from rub country and so we do need to take it to an off-road shop to get the alignment done because we're going to align it well we still will line it up with the strings just so we can drive it down there but uh definitely want to get it professionally aligned so yeah looks really good i'm super happy i can't wait to actually get this thing completely done uh, another thing that we do have an issue with, uh, the radiator's leaking. Uh, aftermarket radiator just started leaking at the seams. I don't know what's going on with it. That's why we're not really moving this thing around on its own power. But I uh, wanted to show you guys the quick disconnects. I don't know if I mentioned those. Very nice, look at that. Pop them off right there at the bottom if you want to go wheeling, whatnot. Rubicon, you know, do its thing. But yeah, super nice. That's going to be it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to smash that like button. Also, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the builds and all the future builds. Uh, and also check us out on Instagram at 23rd underscore garage. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.